All right, so here I'm going to just go over the uh, schedule uh, with you. And so this is a course that runs over uh, eight weeks. So there's a lot of things that have to be done in a very short period of time. But uh, here's the kind of a guide. To, you'll see this schedule, which is in the uh, syllabus, and uh, try to provide you as well a separate document uh, in Blackboard to uh, make quick reference to it. So uh, in week one, uh, you're just going to be doing unit one, which is listening to some videos that I have um, about introduction to what we call primary sources and methodologies in the study of the New Testament and uh, what is New Testament. So these are reading assignments. And uh, the page numbers that you see here are page numbers to the first edition of De Silva. And I will um, update um, this schedule and the syllabi with the appropriate page numbers for those who are using the second edition. Um, and then also there is a reading quiz that will need to be done uh, by the end of the first week. And when I say end of the first week, by, I mean the Sunday night, by midnight. Um, that's how I end each week. So the week begins on a Monday morning, 8 a.m., and ends Sunday night by midnight. And then you'll have your first online interactive discussion or discussion boards. Um, what do, uh, why do New Testament theology? And you are to make your uh, substantive um, reply to my prompts uh, by the end of the day on Thursday of this first week. And then you'll need to make two substantive replies um, to two different students by the end of the week. So in other words, by the end of uh, the day on Sunday. Then you'll see week two. And in uh, week two, you're going to be doing unit two. And again, there are some more videos that you will listen to. There's a more reading assignment, this time in the Silva. There'll be a, a quiz. And then this week, you'll be doing the essay. So you'll have your first writing assignment. This time, it's just a short uh, minimum two pages uh, where you are taking and looking at a particular uh, theology of a, a New Testament book. Then you'll see um, uh, in week three, uh, there is the theologies of the Gospel of Mark and the Gospel of Matthew, and the reading assignment, again, with Silva, and an online uh, interactive discussion or discussion board. And so the pattern just stays the same. So the, your reply needs to be done by Thursday evening um, to my prompts and then the end of the day on Sunday to other students. Then in week four, uh, you'll have uh, the theology of the Gospel of Luke and the Gospel of uh, John and Johannine letters, uh, readings in De Silva and Matera, uh, the quiz, and then another online uh, interactive um, discussion with uh, one another and with myself. Then in week five, uh, you will get into Pauline theology, and we'll look at the theology of Galatians, these uh, assignments in De Silva and Matera, and uh, once again, the, the reading quiz that you can take uh, multiple times to raise your grade, and then you'll be uploading into uh, a discussion board your uh, video presentation, uh, and then people can respond to your uh, video presentation. They can see it uh, and give uh, kudos or ask questions or, uh, or whatever. Uh, then um, week six, uh, you'll have uh, the theology of 1st and 2nd Thessalonians and 1st and 2nd Corinthians, the reading assignment, and uh, there'll be this uh, interactive discussion about Paul's eschatology in 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, so we're just illustrating, just looking at the theology in that book uh, on that particular subject, and then we'll talk about the theology of the cross uh, that is in 1st Corinthians. So this is kind of practicing uh, New Testament theology by just uh, identifying the theology that was held by Paul or what he was communicating to his audience in these different letters. So uh, then we'll have the seventh a week. You'll have unit seven, and um, that's the theology of Romans and Philippians and Philemon. 
Uh, and so this, what we're doing here is giving you a little introductions to how to do New Testament theology. Obviously, we don't have enough time to go over all the books of the New Testament, uh, but you get a sense of what's, uh, what's there. And uh, it's during this week that you're doing your major paper uh, on the genre and major contents of three New Testament books. So uh, you'll choose those books, maybe some that we've looked at in class or in this course, um, and, or there may be some that you really like but weren't touched upon in the course that you still want to deal with, say, the book of Revelation or you know, the book of Hebrews uh, or uh, the pastoral epistles. For Second Timothy and Titus. So you can choose three books and you'll just identify what its genre and what their major contents are um, and uh, can discuss something about its application or what these things contribute to uh, thinking and behaving today as believers. Uh, then uh, in the last week, uh, you'll just hear a, a video, very easy this week, it's just uh, applying New Testament theology to contemporary questions, uh, and then you'll write your reflection paper on what you see as the implication of a New Testament theology on a contemporary issue. You choose issues, something that you know believers are, are really asking about or thinking about, and they are oftentimes might go to the Bible and saying, what does the Bible say, or what does the New Testament say about a subject, and uh, you can reflect upon what you've learned from, from this course about how we go about doing that and what we need to remember when we uh, do that kind of a, a activity. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the schedule, and I um, hope that you'll find that uh, very helpful.